Hey guys, it's your boy right here, Kendala. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I do a post. All right, so now, topic for today. <sighs> Let me start by saying, I know you probably have one embarrassing moment uh, that or something that happened to you that's so embarrassing that uh, you've not you've probably not told anyone you've not shared a story or yeah you you refuse to let it out you know and yeah I know you probably have a story like that so if you know if you have any story like you wanted to share or something similar to what I'm about to tell you or something far west just comment on the comment uh, section and I'll go I'm, I'll read through and probably email you and uh, or reply you and see what's up so how did it go oh yeah so this was a couple of years back uh, this story I haven't really told people I haven't really I think only my mom I only told my mom when it happened and it was so embarrassing that even uh, looking uh, or thinking back, thinking about it, uh, kind of like or reflecting on it, of kind of like it's so it's so funny right now. But then it was serious. It was very serious. Imagine being arrested or almost being arrested for doing nothing. <laughs> How embarrassing that can be, and especially in a public place where there's a lot of people. People are watching you. Um, and su such a thing happens that would be so embarrassing you know and if you know Ghana if you know Africa like especially Ghana how the police arrest you it's crazy the way they hold your belt like the back of your trousers or your pants and pull you yeah you don't want to experience that so how did it go or what happened so it was this day um, I'm supposed to, I think, um, go to Ho. Ho is the capital of Volta region in Ghana. So I was supposed to go do something in Ho. And luckily that day, my dad sent me money. Uh, so I was supposed to withdraw the money. So I was with my mom back in Pando. Pando is also a town in Volta region in Ho. Uh, in, in Ghana, sorry. So also my mom. So my mom said, hey, why don't you withdraw the money before you go to Ho to do whatever you want to do? And I was like, no, I'm already going to Ho, so I'll just go cash out when I get to Ho. So I don't have to wait in the queue in the bank and probably uh, mess the bus or something, you know. And she was like, okay. So I went to Ho, uh, went to do my rounds and met a friend. Uh, we hung out a little bit and we happened to go to Ho Polytechnic. So it's a tertiary institution in Ho. Or right now it's called, now it's uh, Ho Technical University. So we went to Ho Polytechnic, and we're hanging out. I had a uh, uh, classmate back in high school that was in the same school, uh, Ho Polytechnic. So we met, we met, we talked, chat, you know. And then um, I saw a bank on the campus, Ghana Commercial Bank. I'm like, okay, since there is a bank here. Why don't I cash out, uh, withdraw the money uh, my dad sent me so I don't have to go to town again. So just from the campus, I go straight to the station, grab a bus and go back to Mando. That was perfect, right? So my friends were outside waiting whilst I entered the bank. So I was in the queue, um, finally got to my turn, walked to the cashier. Feel, I feel that it's also West Union, yeah. West Union. So I fill out the forms, added my ID, and gave it to the lady, the teller. So the teller did the whole thing, computer thing, you know, and then um, made a phone call. So after after talking on the phone, then she was like, uh, please walk to the operations manager desk. She, he wants to talk to you. I'm like, any problem? It's like, no. Okay. And then I walked to the operations manager. The operations manager asked me questions. Whose ID is this? I'm like, it's my ID. It's like, okay, whose money? Who is sending you the money? And I'm like, 
uh, my dad is like, okay. Then he also made a phone call, not knowing what, I, what was going on. I was so confused, but I was like, okay, you know, it's some money anyways, you know, so I'm just going to wait. So I was waiting, waiting after the phone call. Then she, on top of his voice, shouted, you are an imposter. You are a thief. I'm going to get you arrested today. You're going to spend a day behind bars or something. Yeah, it, but like so i was confused everybody the, like, the whole banking hall everybody was started watching like watching me i was like who is this guy you know crazy now i was like so confused i was like what's going on here before i realized or before i could even open my mouth to say it not something like someone hooked the back of my pants like my trap and like i turned and it was like a police officer so there were two police armed police officers behind me ready to pull me out the police vehicle was uh, ready outside the bank and they were waiting just to carry me out to the police station. So I was like, what the hell is happening, you know? So we, when we were about to step out of the banking hall, then the bank manager just came in and was like, what's going on here? Then, you know, the police officer tried to so say, you know what, let's go to my office and let's, let's talk about it, whatever. So that, that point, I think that was the, Point, that was where everything was kind of getting a little bit calmer because if the bank manager hadn't stepped in trust me I, I would have been gone I would have been in jail for at least a couple of days because it, mind you it was a Friday and knowing Ghana system Friday is when they took you to the police station you are behind bars till Monday because weekend they'll tell you they cannot build they cannot do anything so unless Monday so it was crazy so we went to the bank manager's office and then um he was like so what's going on I'm like yeah my dad sent me money i was about to withdraw it and all of a sudden they said the id is not my id in or whatever it's like okay so do you have any other id i'm like yeah i have health insurance card but it has expired so i'm not able to use it that's why i'm using my voters id then it's like okay let me see your id so i had i took my wallet out and i brought my cards out my id and my atm card and stuff so they saw the bank, bank manager saw the Ghana Commercial Bank ATM card, which is the debit card. Saw it, um, uh, saw it in my wallet. It was like, oh, so you have an account with us? I'm like, yeah, I do. I do have an account with you guys. It's like, okay, let me check. So he took the debit card, punching the numbers on the computer, and blah, my information pop up, my name, my ID, my ID number, my everything. I was like, okay, this is you. This is your ID. So what's going on? Like, I don't know. I don't know where the confusion came from. I don't know why they call me an imposter. I was like, okay, sorry for the inconvenience. We are so sorry. Uh, pack your stuff. Just go to the teller and go get your money. I'll call them to tell them to give you your money. I'm like, okay. Then the, the police officer says, so sorry. You are so lucky the bank manager came in. Like, you would have been gone. I'm like, like, woo. So yeah, I finally packed my cards, my wallet, put everything back in my wallet and walked back to the banking hall. Then everybody was looking at me, was like, okay, what just happened? Because a couple of minutes ago, two policemen were about taking me out. Now I'm back with no policeman and I'm walking to the teller to take my money. So I walked to the teller. I'm like, I'm here for my money. Did the whole thing in the system, gave me my money. And then uh, look at me, it's like, okay. Have a good day. I'm like, so are you happy now? Then I just walked out. That was it. Like, for no reason, I was just being arrested. I was going to be taken to jail for nothing, doing nothing. For even, probably I would say for coming for my own money, I was getting arrested for taking my own money. So I walked out and my friend were like, so there was a lady who, uh, who happened to go to the same high school with me in the bank hall. So he walked up to me and was like, Francis, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. It took, everything took me by surprise, you know? And she was like, you're so lucky you are, you are out of this. I'm like, yeah. So I went out and my friends were like, what happened? Why why did you keep so, you know, waste time in there? I'm like, ah, I was almost got arrested. <laughs> but hey, I'm out now. So yeah, then I left. And I'm like, never again am I going to that bank. But if those days was now, I think I would have sued 
the operations manager, I would have sued the teller, I would have sued the bank. But yeah, thankfully it's not. It's past. So this story, I haven't really told people. Like, I only told my mom when I got back home. My mom, this what happened to me. And she was like, I told you to take the money before going. And you didn't. I'm like, you know, it's past. But yeah, that's one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Whereby I'll get arrested for doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. For no reason. And it's insane that banks or the bank will not do or especially the teller and the operations manager will not do due diligence before accusing someone or before getting people arrested you know they have i think for they have to do due diligence they have to do that before getting people arrested you cannot just accuse someone of being an imposter or being a thief and then uh, arrest the person for not, nothing you know and it's insane it's it's really insane and yeah i finally got it off my chest i decided to share with you guys um i know people people have been through worse things worse situations uh than this and i know it's not a good thing uh, i don't wish that for even my worst enemy so yeah that's what i wanted to share with you guys today let me know what you think if you have something similar or something worse or something close just Comment on the comment button and let's let's get interactive, okay? And yeah, I wish you all the best. You guys continue to stay safe. Uh, all the precautions measures should be using against this COVID nineteen uh, uh, pandemic. Let's stay safe. Let's stay home. Uh, let's keep hoping for the best. So, if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the notification button. If you like this uh video like if you don't if you don't like it still like everything like uh if you also have any suggestions for me anything you want me to talk about anything you want me to share with you guys i'm more than willing to do so just let me know in the comment button or in the comment section and then i will reply and see how it goes all right so guys till next time i come up to you it's a boy Kindela saying bye bye.